Welcome back to the 2023 Chicago Golf Show. I'm Tim Merrick, and I'm joined by former PGA Tour professional, now Golf on CBS commentator, Colt Nose. Colt, you have ties to Texas. They say everything's bigger in Texas, but this show is pretty big. What are your this, thoughts so far? This is incredible. Uh, so, so great to be here. Um, it's it's great to see it back after a couple years ab yeah. absence because of COVID and everything, but what a what a show this is. I love it. I'm having a blast. Yeah. Speaking of having a blast, you had a blast a couple years back. Uh, Cantini, 2007, winning the U.S. Amateur Public Links. What do you remember about that event and, and that week? Uh, that was so cool. You know, that was kind of a last-minute decision for me to play the Public Links. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to get on the Walker Cup team, and I figured if I went to a USGA event and played well, yeah. it might uh, leave a kind of an impression on Captain Buddy Marucci. Yep. I'd never made match play in any of my U.S. Amateurs before. Yep. That was my first Pub Links, so I got into match play. And sure. Honestly, that was probably the best golf I played all summer. I yeah. cruised. I think I made seven bogeys like the entire week. Um, so obviously made people have to come get me. Yeah. But uh, it was a honestly pretty dominating performance. Yeah. You had a, a pretty lengthy uh, professional career after that. You've now transitioned onto the media side. Just tell us a little bit about how that transition's been from being a player to now covering the tour. Uh, I'm very fortunate. Yeah. There is no doubt. You know, I mean, I always hesitate to use the word athlete, but I think every professional athlete you know they never have a plan b yeah it's always i'm gonna kill it make a ton of money yep. have a long career and then ride off into the sunset and unfortunately that doesn't happen for a lot of us yeah and you know when i was hurt one of the years i was fortunate enough to get a call from cbs about possibly doing some tv yep. um sirius xm also reached out so when i finished my last tournament at phoenix it was kind of like just boom here we go next yeah. week i'm rolling right into this media thing um, it was a tough decision, though, because I could have gone back to the Corn Ferry Tour and sure. played and tried to work my way back, but yeah. I just wasn't – I didn't I didn't feel like that was the right path for me, and I'm so, so glad with my decision. Yeah. We're lucky to have a great golf scene here in Chicago, a lot of great courses in the area. Uh, where have you been out to play? Where would you rank this area in terms of the country itself? There are so many great golf courses here. Uh, when I was in college, we played Northwestern's event at North Shore one year, yep. Indian, Indian Hill, I believe yep. it was, yep. one year. Um, I've played Butler National, Conway Farms, sure. um, quite a few. I haven't played Chicago Golf Club yet, okay. which I really want to. But Butler National, I mean, whew, that is a, that's a tough one. Oh, yeah, definitely. Speaking of scene in the area, and we were just talking off camera, we're going to have two professional events in the area this year, the BMW Championship, as well as the Live Golf Event at Rich Harvest Farms. Just give us your, your thoughts overall on Live and the PGA Tour and, and kind of what's going on between those two. Yeah, so, you know, I, I'm not a fan of Live. I've made that pretty clear. I've never once hated on a guy for going because yeah. it's life-changing money, right? Sure. I mean, you offer a dude $100 million bucks, it's kind of hard to say no. Sure. Um, you know, I think they have made the PGA Tour kind of obviously step up a little bit yeah. and, uh, and, and change their ways, which I think is great. Yeah. Um, we still have, you know, 18 of the top 20 in the world, in my opinion, playing yeah. on the PGA Tour, so we're in a good situation there. Uh, but... I'm just, I'm not a big fan of 54 holes, shotgun start, guaranteed money, no cut. Like, I think making, like, Tiger's cut streak of 143 doesn't get talked about enough. Yeah. I think it's one of the greatest records in sports. I think making the cut, you know, these guys take a lot of pride in that. Yeah. And I think that's a huge part of the game. And that's one thing I've been very open with, like, the PGA Tour, Commissioner Monaghan. You know, these designated events, like, yeah. I, I, I don't want them to be 70 people, yeah. no cuts. Like, I want it to be, I want the underdog to be able to compete with Roy McIlroy, John Rahm, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Well, Colt, we appreciate your time. It's been a great weekend. We appreciate your presence here in the booth and at the show. So thanks yeah. for stopping thanks by. Thanks for having me.